now on, I would like to be referred to as Andrea, mother of Cthulhu. Beware. So today I will be doing a tag, which is Claudia's tag called the Books and Cats tag. And it's her original tag, and I'll link down her video. So the first question is, tell us about your cats, name, age, hobbies. Since my last video, I've adopted a second cat and it's a kitten, and his name's Cthulhu. I do have some stories for both of these cats. So my first cat, Humbert Humbert, I adopted from the Toronto Humane Society, which is kind of an animal shelter. If you want to adopt one, you can. You just have to go through a really long interview process. And I spend hours on their website. One day I just saw Humbert Humbert and I thought, there's something about this cat in this picture that just made me fall in love with him and I wanted to just go get him. And I've never felt so compelled to do something so impulsive. So I left work and I just went straight to the shelter to get Humbert Humbert. When I got there, I told them, listen, I'm not leaving without this particular cat. They said, well, you know, he's a specific case because he's been kind of traumatized. He was a stray cat. He came in with um, a lot of issues the first time. And then he was adopted by this one person just for one day. They brought him back the same day and this person like locked him in a bathroom and he kind of swatted at them or something in self-defense and then they called the cops on a cat to come get him and take him away so I'm like whoa you're telling me this cat is a delinquent ah that's my cat so give it it was arrested okay that's a cool cat he's a little bit antisocial he doesn't like humans he likes other cats and I kept seeing that every time I played like a video with cats he really liked seeing them, so I got him a kitten. And when I went to get Cthulhu, I told them, listen, I'm looking for a cat who's good with antisocial cats, and I also want him to be a cuddler for me. He gave me this cat. They both had different names, but they were stupid, and I didn't like them at all. So that's kind of their story, and they're both wonderful. And they already get along, and they play, and they're awesome. And I have to say, Cthulhu has really made Humbert Humbert come out of his shell. Like, they're playing together all the time, and it's really cute. Let's start with the other questions. Recommend a book that features, includes, or mentions a cat. So for this, I'm going to start with Coraline. Coraline has this incredible cat that just appears and disappears when it's convenient for him. And in the other world, where people have buttons for eyes, he can also talk. It's like a cool talking cat. But I feel like cats make a lot of appearances in short stories. So um, there's this book, Amos for Magic, also by Neil Gaiman, and Ghostly by Audrey Niffing. I cannot pronounce her last name. She's the same author of Her Fearful Symmetry. But um, there are some short stories featuring cats. There's also Edgar Allan Poe's famous black cat who kind of hides in the walls of this house and accidentally gets buried alive with a newly murdered corpse. Number three, what is your favorite fictional cat? This can be from literature, TV, movies, games, etc. It has to be the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. I'm not all there myself. There's something so eerie and beautiful about him. I made this painting which hangs up in my room of the Cheshire Cat and I used glow-in-the-dark paint so when the lights are off all you can see is this section of his tail and his grin and his eyes. I really enjoyed making this. I don't find a lot of round canvases nowadays so and I'd be lying if I didn't say that when Usain Boots in Shrek 2 does his like big eye thing. Oh my god. Love him. Number four. If your cat was the main character in a book, what sort of book would it be? So Humbert Humbert would definitely be a kind of like rogue in a high fantasy heist. Probably like work with Vin and Mistborn. Like I see him in a Brandon Sanderson novel or Scott Lynch novel. Just kind of doing cool things with people but being like very secretive about it and being very good at his job. Just kind of like... People come to him when they need his help, and he's also kind of bad. Cthulhu would be in a children's book, but one with like this super pure innocence. I can't think of him otherwise because he's just a kitten. So I see him in books like, you know, The Hobbit or Peter Pan or Winnie the Pooh, just like joining in on the friendship and the 
pure, innocent fun. I think he would fit in well in like Winnie the Pooh. Like he would just be like, oh, come on, Pooh, let's play, and Tigger, and Owl, and he would like cheer up Eeyore. It'd be great. Okay, number five, recommend the book that your cat would enjoy if they could read. So Humbert Humbert would definitely like kind of 20th century gothic lady authors. I think he would really enjoy Daphne du Maurier and Shirley Jackson. He would like kind of mystery haunted, but also kind of a hint of a classic. I see him as being that kind of a reader. I think Cthulhu would enjoy books about adventure. So The Hobbit keeps coming to mind, but I also think he would love illustrated books and fairy tales or books about forests. I just see him like chasing butterflies, I don't know. There's something about that like childish thing about him. But he might also like Robin Hood and King Arthur and his knights. Like I see him kind of being a big fan of like pre-Raphaelite paintings and kind of this Arthurian romance period where everything's kind of cleaned up a little bit, but it's not like purely medieval and violent. Number six, what book or story would benefit from the inclusion of one or more cats? So I think at this point, I would like to just drop in a kitten everywhere where it could like really alter the ending. So picture this, okay? Hamlet, act five, scene three. Hamlet is getting ready for his big duel with Laertes, but out of the blue, Horatio comes and says, Hamlet, I've got you this kitten because it's his best friend. He also kind of trolls him a little bit and says, I also saw the ghost of your father and he said he wants you to take care of this kitten and he wants you to name it Claudius so that now you may love that which you hate. And Hamlet's like, okay, I guess it's time for me to leave. Just as Hamlet descends down the stairs with little Claudius in his hands, Fortinbras and his army are right at the gates and Fortinbras breaks through the gates and he's also on that same stairwell and just as the two go up and down they meet right in the middle of the stairwell but wait Fortinbras is also holding a kitten. Hamlet tells Fortinbras, I never wanted to be a part of this monarchy. I just want to live with my kitten in the Alps. And Fortinbras pulls out his dream journal and in it it says that he also wanted to live with his kitten in the Alps and together they run away and make eternal peace in Europe. Option number two, Anna Karenina. We're in the last few chapters. Anna's running towards the train station and on the way there she finds a basket of kittens and they all look at her the same way Vronsky used to and suddenly decides that nothing matters. Society and its rules, public shame, nothing matters as much as this basket of kittens. And she takes them home and takes care of them forever. Option three, The Sorrows of Young Werther by Goethe. We're in the last chapters and young Werther receives a letter from his beloved, the person who won't return his love, but she also sends him a kitten and says, I want you to cherish this kitten and pretend it is me and love it with all of the love you would have given me and now, young hero will just care for this one kitten. Did I just make Shakespeare, Goethe, and Tolstoy look like amateurs? Maybe. Number seven, have your cat pick your next reads. I laid out my three next reads for Victober, and I put a treat on all of them, and young Cthulhu has chosen Lady Audley's Secret, so that's the book I'll be starting next. And lastly, it says tag some cat lovers. I don't know who owns cats, who hasn't done this tag. If you have a cat and you want to do this tag, please do it. Also, do it if you have a ferret. I think that'd be fun to watch. Tagging cat lovers and ferret people. They're always fun. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.